So what is Rob Top Travel? If you haven't heard of it, let me explain. It's basically all the main 21 levels made by Rob Top, our beloved dev. Then let's mash all those levels into one giant level. And now we get a 30 plus minute level where I cannot make a mistake and die for 30 minutes straight. Oh man, this is going to be a hell of a challenge. Let me show you my journey from day one. Here we go. So here we are, Rob Top Travel. This level is over 30 minutes. Am I afraid? Yes. Am I stupid? Yes. Are we going to do this? Yes. <laughs> Am I going to regret this? Probably. But we're not backing down from this. How long is this song? 75 megs. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Timer should be at the top right. It's running. Okay. Dude, my computer can't even handle this. We're going to see how many attempts for me to take in practice mode. And let's just hope it's not too much. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, dude. No. No. <laughs> dude, look at the percentage. It's hardly even moving up. No, what am I doing? Dun, 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 dun. You suck. It's only 18%. I don't know how long I've been playing. It just feels like forever. I think I gotta like switch fingers. I'll use my middle finger, then I'll use my index finger. So I just don't get tired. <laughs> oh god. What did I sign up to? Why are you so old? Imagine if I get to like finger that or deadlock and then patchy sabotages me. No, oh, you made me die! No! <laughs> Patchy jumped on the space bar. <laughs> Patchy the sabotager. That would be a feels bad moment. Not doing too bad. Oh, okay, mirror portals. Hey, let's go. We all love mirror portals, said no one ever. Anyone remember XQC's moment here? I don't know how many attempts I have right now. It's probably embarrassing, but I embarrass myself all the time. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'll stop being stupid. Cause you know, you have to laugh at yourself. <laughs> Dude, wait, what? How did I do that? Bruh. What, what? What the hell? Electro diet. What is going on? What, what? I gotta click everything late there. Look, look at this. What? No, that's not how it should be. Wait, what's going on? Am I going the right speed? But look at this, even this. So what is exactly happening here? Rob Top Travel is really buggy and it's not the level's fault. Playing on 360 FPS can really break some parts of the level. So to find a temporary fix, I change it to 60 FPS. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I did an amazing swag route on this level. Yay! Hey, swag route, let's go! Oh, it's deadlocked. Okay, here we go. What? It just feels so spaced out. See, look at that. Oh my god, 60 FPS fixes this part. Okay, that's interesting. Bruh. Bruh. What am I supposed to do if there's a bug here? I believe I can fly. Dude, I have to play the whole thing 60. Oh my god. See, look at that. So with trial and error, I figured out changing it to 240 FPS fixed most of the problems. There are some spots where I had to click late, but at least it's manageable. So it looks like we are ready for this challenge. Okay. Oh, wait, well, there's more? But wait, there's more. Wait, what the hell? Oh no. Stupid. Oh, dude, imagine dying there. I thought that was it. 204 attempts. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Please save me. And now we stream. Thank you so much for the six months. Holy crap, half a year. Three subscribed for six months. Rob Top Travel. More like Rob Top being a savage for 30 minutes. <laughs> what the shit? That's actually pretty funny. Look at this. Old sicky. Let's go. There's so many anti-gravities on this stage. That's why I, I'm not feeling too confident. <laughs> anti-gravity. I probably will beat it on this attempt. Fight! Oh, I knew I was going to stop up there. The freaking plane. The plane? I got this the plane. Okay, I just beat my highest score. I, I beat my part, highest score. Oh. oh, hang on. That was the hardest part. Oh my god. How many attempts was that? Dude, this used to be so hard for me when I first played this. Hey. <laughs> 
Dude. I love jumper song. Oh, um, my finger slipped. Dumbass. <laughs> no. Yeah, I need a lot of practice. <laughs> X step song. What are you doing? X step. Oh, guys, look at my ship. Dude, I jump over the pads. Space bar. <laughs> A super space bar, dude. So day two and three was just refining my skill by practicing the level and try to reduce the amount of overall attempts. The way I did this was first playing the levels individually and count how many attempts it took me and then play Rob Top Travel in practice mode. You can see here this is my day one result which I've only completed the level once individually. Day two. I was already getting a lot better. The attempts are almost the same from 109 to 95 attempts. However, I've done multiple completions on some of the levels which I struggled with which racked up the attempts. I had to make sure I was comfortable enough to play the level when playing Rob Top Travel from zero. That was my goal for day two. Day three, I drastically improved and went from day one with 109 attempts to 19 attempts on the individual main levels. From this day onwards, this is where the real grind starts. I have ignore escape on, so just in case, because I will probably pause a few times, especially on a 30 minute level. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, really? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no! How'd I go back? Wait, what? I can die to the slope. Never in my life I thought I would do Rob Top Travel. You know when I first started playing GD? Oh, you used the mouse to jump. Yeah, you look stupid. Well, I still do. Imagine like telling that sicky, saying that I oh, will do all the Rob Top levels in one go, in one attempt. You boss, you bro. <gasps> no, why did I do that? Oh, 55. Oh, we got to do best. No, I could have got to club step. Club step was 57. Oh no. Oh, that was a dumb death. <laughs> Failure. Stupid. Man, yes, new best, let's go. I then took a two week break for my birthday to catch up with my family and friends and to do my subathon. Then I came back with this. Let's go. Club step to 100. Time to play from zero. Why did I let go? I got so nervous. I got so nervous that my finger locked. No, dude. Oh, that sucks. Dude, I could have fluked from 60%. I, I could have fluked from club step. A few moments later. I can't spam when I'm freaking nervous. Why? I died deadlock twice today. After those two deaths, I took a even longer break because I just simply could not play the level. Every time I die far, let's say 20 minutes, I just don't feel like playing again. It's definitely one of the hardest mental challenges for me. After a three week break, this happened. I like it, Kaji. No! From that day onwards, Siki became a bigger dumbass. So welcome to the start of Rob Top Travel. Here we have the first level, Stereo Madness. As you can see, I'm currently using my left hand because I'm saving energy for my right hand. I know what you're thinking. Damn, Siki, you're so old that you can't even play a whole entire level without your hand hurting. Shut up, I'm old, you zoo. Back on track. This level copped the most amount of jokes in Geometry Dash. Back on track is the hardest level. Going back on track for my new hardest. Back on track is impossible. I'll tell you what's impossible. Your mother. <laughs> 
I mean touching grass. Yeah, that. I get confused with polar guys and poltergeist sometimes. Don't ask me how. I have two brain cells, especially after playing Robtop Travel. That's right, Robtop being a savage even when he's not on Twitter or Discord. Help me. Nothing to say about dry out. The only thing I can say is all girls stay away from me within a five kilometer radius. And if they are within the zone, they have been all dried out. Dicky, that was a lame joke. I'll be honest, I don't even remember what this level looks like. Hmm, <laughs> can't let go. More like can't let go of these nuts. As we got to Jumper, you guys are probably thinking, what are the next lame jokes Siki would be saying? Psych, I have none for Jumper. But the first thing I think about Jumper is that guy playing Jumper blindfolded. And that's dedication. You all want to take a time machine and see what it's like to see life before the internet and mobile phones? Welcome to my boomer life. Cycles. Does anyone remember this level? Um... X step. Clutterfunk. This level is actually a good tester for new players. Once you beat Clutterfunk, I believe you are ready to slay demons. Theory of Everything isn't too memorable. To me, it's just a nerf version of Toe 2. If you like Theory of Everything, you love Toes. You might say, wow, that doesn't make sense. Well, nothing about me makes sense. I'm just a boomer who plays GD. Electro Man Adventures, honestly, it has a banger song and it's a chill level with not much of a difficulty. Love it. Club Step. It's a level where many people collect their first demon. Going from zero to here is where I really start feeling a little bit of a pressure. Playing all levels ranging from easy to insane rating, then going to a demon level feels like my heart is beating, my heart is pumping. Oh God, stay calm, Siki, stay calm. I died a few times on this level from zero. It was painful. Goddamn painful. Electrodynamics. This level is the one I fear the most because with nerves, playing from zero would feel intimidating with the intense speed. But with enough practice, it didn't bother me as much as I thought. But I did die here a few times because I'm stupid. Hexagon Force, a laid back level. At this point, it's good to take a little break from club step and electrodynamics. Nothing too hard here. <sighs> Blast processing. Boom, 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 boom. It's an easier level than Hexagon Force, so these two levels are basically free. It's just a good point to relax, reset, and prepare for Theory of Everything 2. Oh my god, that was too close. This is the second demon of the level and my heart is really pumping here and I start to get really nervous. From here on, I hate it when I die this far because I lose motivation to play from zero again after spending over 20 minutes on this attempt. This gets very sweaty and my fingers tend to shake from nervousness or from being old or stupid. You pick. Ah, a memory level. As soon as I know what to do with the memory part, this becomes a breeze. It's a good place to reset, calm my nerves, and prepare for deadlock. Deadlock. The hardest part of rob type travel. Many say this is a medium demon. I still personally believe it's an easy demon. Maybe because I have a high refresh rate. So this level from zero is absolutely horrifying because if I can get through this, I should be able to beat the level, right? No! Well... Let's not talk about that. I died twice from zero and I just wanted to crawl under a rock and not see the sunlight for days. Brutal part of the level, but if you manage to get past deadlock, you're most likely going to beat Rob Top Travel. Unless you're a dumbass like me. Well, if you made it this far, congratulations. All you need to do is just hold your nerves. That's what I thought, right? Wrong. Once I got to finger dash, my heart spiked even harder. Why? Because dying here would be a lot worse than dying in deadlock. I kept on telling myself, don't die here, don't die here, don't die here. And I did. Well, not this one. I did die before. But then again, maybe I'm just an idiot who just put extra pressure on myself. I'm just so bad with nerve control. And to get better, I had to face it, right? I had to play levels that require crazy nerve control. I don't know if I'm brave or stupid for playing this level.
Come on, come on. And now we approach the challenger. It's not so hard, but man, it's so easy to stuff up when my heart rate is going. There are two parts where I can possibly die, which are the two green orbs. Once I got past here, I knew I beat it. I didn't want to celebrate too early just in case, as I have made that mistake before. So here it is. many fails with this so many fails i died at 96 92 91 so with all the attempts added including practicing on the main levels which i racked up 277 attempts from the level itself i racked up 589 and 152 in copyables so that is a total of 958 attempts i'm so happy it's finally over if you guys want to see the whole entire video of me beating rob top travel from start to finish with no edits i'll leave a link down below for that if you enjoyed my rob top travel video make sure to like and subscribe click here to see more videos and as always happy dash